Hey guys and girls, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XV! Right, so we are on a mission to go find our good friend Core, Care, Core, Care, Core, 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 and he is up here somewhere. So we just need to go and have a little look for him. He's in the tombs apparently. Hey, Such a wonderful place to be time. going. Alright, I'm just going to sell some junk just so I've got what a bit of money. I don't usually sell junk because it comes in handy, but yeah, may as well get my, my money up a wee bit now. I doubt this guy sells anything I really want. Now I've got all the things he's selling. See you later. So, yeah, just so I've got a bit of money to spend on things that I need. I need to talk to this person. Your Highness. I'm glad you're safe. Monica, where are all the others? Most of the Crown's Guard didn't make it. It was all we could do to escort Lady Iris out of the city. Dustin is with her as we speak, seeing her the rest of the way to Lestalem. I owe you guys big time. Head for the royal tomb. The Marshal awaits. Okay, so we got another magic flask there. Displayed in memoriam, with no remains to mourn, throngs have gathered in Altishit. Right, so they were talking about Iris there, and that is Gladiolith. Or Gladio, as I just call him for short. And Gladio's sister. Which we will meet up with her a bit later in one of the main towns in the game. First the Crown City, then Hammerhead, then the Royal Tomb? His nickname should have been Core the Restless. Somehow not as catchy as Kor the Immortal. Making it out of insomnia only adds to his legend. Well, fortune favors the bold. Well, huh? The wise make their own luck. Well, you think it's a coincidence he's made it out of all those battles alive? So apparently Kor's a bit of a badass, really. But, here's some fly. I hate flying things. They're so hard to fight with as they fly. <laughs> Logic. Alright, okay. Come here! Come here! Come here! Go on the fly for so long! Come here! <laughs> there we go. No use hanging around right. here. Indeed. So up to the we'll tomb we go. Them to the royal tomb. A morbid curiosity for the late kings of Lucis. Only one way to find out. Alright, so the tomb is just through here. Here's some more flying things. Wait, I'll do my acrobatics up in the air to try and kill these wee stupid things. Come here, come here. While you're, while you're down low, come here. There we go. There's another one. Back up. It helps if you hit them, knock this. Come on. I prompt I'll just shoot it. Make my life easier. Boom! Fall off. Boom! Really? You're mine! Hear me up! Gladio's like, you're mine! Swings at Finnia. <laughs> oh bro. Okay, oh, that's that dealt with. Bring on the next one. No, just leave the flying things out of the question, please. Right, so there will be a little cutscene in this tomb, so I shall disappear just for a little while. See you all in two seconds. Marshal. At last, Your Highness. Yeah. Want to tell me what I'm here for? The power of kings passed from the old to the new through the bonding of souls. One such soul lies before you. To claim your forebear's power is your birthright and duty as king. My duty as king of what? Now is not the time to question your calling. <laughs> A king is sworn to protect his people. And yet he chose to protect only one prince. Was that his calling? Forsake the masses to spare his own son? How long will you remain the protected? The king entrusted the role of protector to you. 
entrusted it to me. Then why didn't he tell me that? Why did he stand there smiling as I left? Why? Why did he lie to me? That day, he didn't want you to remember him as the king. In what time you had left, he wanted to be your father. He always had faith in you, that when the time came, you would ascend for the sake of your people. Guess he left me no choice. That's not the only power your forebears left you. Your journey's just begun. Another tomb lies close by. I suggest you head there next. There are tombs scattered across the land. All are on dangerous ground. I'll go with you, for the time being. Not only to help, but to get a measure of your strength. So, right, just guys. How so, many of these powers are out there. There are three royal us? arms, each enshrined at a royal tomb. Though we know the location of only a few, I have enlisted the help of the hunters. They comb the land in search of the lost tomb. Hmm. Where's the one nearby you mentioned? We know there to be a crypt, deep inside the tunnels. Right. Now I can talk about more while we fight. <laughs> right, so what you've seen there is Noctis picked up a sword of one of the Fallen Kings. And there's so many of these swords scattered about the place that Noctis needs to kind of collect. Which, eh... Uh, yeah, he needs to collect the power off the Fallen Kings to become the chosen Ascension King to rid the world of darkness and all of this jazz. But yeah, the one thing I noticed that if you equip the swords that you pick up, the, the King's swords, they're very powerful weapons but they also use health with every hit you do, so you have to be very careful with them. Because you could end up killing yourself ago, just by we even not getting hit. Here against the Basically. Empire. It all went to ruin. And after that, the Empire moved in like it owned the place. Alright, so we're going to uh, avoid the Empire there over to the right hand side here. I'm going to stick well, to the left. To those numbers. Numbers alone and there should be a big beastie here for me to fight. There it is. It's tactics. finally spawned in. <laughs> no slacking off, Gladio. Come on then. You're like a big elephant type, mammoth type, something. I do like that large sword, but because of its speed, it's hard to use because you end up getting hit before you even land an attack because it's so slow to swing it. But I am currently working on getting my Ultima Blade, so in the next video or so, I should have the Ultimate Blade in my arsenal. Which will make my life a little bit easier. <laughs> but to be fair though, this thing is a higher level than it should be. Uh, th not that it should be. Higher level that, uh, than I should be fighting, should I say. That's it! What's up, Biggie? I've come up with a new recipe. Up with a new recipe. Up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. I said, he said that. He said that. I've been waiting on saying that. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. 
Oh, I've been so looking forward to that sentence getting saved. <laughs> Don't ask why. I just like it. Okay, so pick up that, which is the Bio Blaster, which is another weapon uh, you can make stronger by collecting, doing little side kind of quests to make it stronger. And Prompto can use that as his secondary weapon. Here's another little glowy glow over here, so I'm just going to go and pick that up quickly. Hi Alexa, times one. Right, so now this is what is technically your first Here's where we dungeon of ways. the game. Take this key. It unlocks the doors to the other tombs. Seek them out and lay claim to the power they hold. You'll need it. And what will you do? Keep an eye on the Nifs. Find out what they're up to. But you should focus on your own task. I will. You right, so, core's gone again. Here we go. And into Here the cave we, we go. Huh? Look, now you'll you'll see door. that the what is the, this place? It appears to have been a shelter. People lived here. Those seeking refuge from war, most likely. Wars. Huh. What are they good for? Wonder if anyone's <laughs> still living That's here. That's a song. <laughs> uh, I but uh, what was I saying? Dungeons are a bit this? of a change of pace. Table? Wonder where it leads. Well, we can follow it and see. Because the the dungeons in this game are actually quite eerie places. A generator? So it would appear. Sweet, it works! Oh. Then there was light. Oh man, I do love me some light. Because obviously when you're outside in the world, it's all kind of open, nice, do what you want, laid back. But, but in dungeons, it's a lot more narrower pathways and... They, they try a little rubbishy jump scares and stuff, but I, I, I don't know why they tried that with the dungeons, but Kick the can. Uh, it's okay for a bit of fire. Are you trying to give me a heart attack or something? But it's okay for a little change of pace. I can feel eyes on us. The second we turn our backs, bam! Could be the worst. <laughs> and there's a rusted bit. I'll need that for an upgrade on one of my weapons. So that's helpful that I've got that just now. <laughs> Door does open. It won't open. Um, All right. Can I go this way? Uh, locked. Total hey, shocker. Something's worth locking up. It's worth seeking out. Ever wonder if people like okay. died here? Can I go in this and way? Their tormented souls just sorta remained behind. Nope. Maybe. This is it. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's playing with us. You know what I mean? They, they try and give you a little frights and stuff like knocking out doors and stuff. <laughs> Wait, what? Need to brace for this. No, you don't. Come on. It's locked. Oh, it's locked. Would you like that? Uh. Then you go back the way, and then the doors magically open. It came from there. Here is some magic, so I'll pick that up while I'm here. So we can't go this way because this way is locked. But if we go back this way, we'll find that some doors have now opened because dungeons like to play with you. <laughs> so we'll go down this way. See if there's anything worth collecting down here. Us. Look out! Ah. So we're causing rock slides while we're in here, or something's causing rock slides. Because there's obviously a creature or something down here playing with us by knocking on doors and opening and closing doors behind us and all the rest of it. Huh? What is it? That wasn't there before. No, it was not there before. I hear some goblins that have shown up to try and ambush us. I'll say I'm amazed. What can I say? All right, so let's have a little look at our map. All right, so 
Onward. That door at the right. far end shouldn't be open. I'll just double check just in case they've opened it now. But I don't think so. Nah. Okay. So we need to... What way do we need to go? Not that one. Oh. This door. It's one that just flung open as soon as we got Please to it. <laughs> oh, totally. Oh, here's electricity power. Or thunder. Never knew why they called it thunder. If anything, it should have been lightning, because thunder... Thunder isn't a thing. Thunder's a noise. Lightning is the actual thing. But in Final Fantasy, it's always been called thunder. So is that a spell of noise? Even all the lightning comes out, so they should have called it lightning. I'm just gonna throw that out there. It's safe, right? Ah, oh, probably not, but let's go anyway. We have no fear. We are the bromance off the sentry. We are going in here. Hey, didn't we already? There we go. Here's some more goblins. Playing with us. Goblins are very um playful enemies. They like to trick you. Basically. And if they do manage to hit you, they steal items from you as well, so just be wary of that, because you will lose items to them if they manage to steal from you. Okay, so this door leads us back into this room that obviously we could, couldn't get through that door that just opened before. So we've checked around that way, so the only way left to go is uh, left along here. Not this first opening, but down this second one. First time through here, right? Looks it. So we'll go. Alright. So here's a little gap for us to go through. Wish they would fix the X button, because when you get close to something, it says X. Sometimes you just jump in place rather than actually interacting with the thing you're meant to be interacting with. It can get annoying when you're picking up items and that and you just keep jumping on the spot like... <laughs> instead of actually picking it up. Alright, well, let's go this way. And explore this place a little more. There's an item here. Laser sensor times one. Nice. Does this open? Oh, this of course it doesn't. Why would it? Why would it open? Come on, man. Don't lose your cool. Huh. Says the panicky one. <laughs> so as you can see, the dungeons are quite uh, a different pace. Oh, it's our times one. Look where you're going. <laughs> Didn't they're they're a different that. kind of pace because they try and kind of give you a little fights and make it in close spaces and making you have to look about the place. But I find them quite fun actually, They're quite enjoyable. Now there is a room back here, but as far as I can tell it has no purpose because there is nothing in it. Like nothing. You can't interact with anything and there's absolutely nothing in it. So it's a strangely placed room. So if you know why that room was there, let me know in the comments, please, because it kind of annoys me knowing that room's there and it's not got anything at all on it. Auto crossbow. There's another weapon we can upgrade via mini quests. Alright, so this just is a dead end, I'm sure. Alright, this is a dead end. So that was a high Alexa times one. I like reading them out. <laughs> So in here, I believe, is a kind of mini boss for the dungeon. Which should be the Arachne. There it is. Which is just a big giant spider. So I'm trying to use my smaller sword because we've been frozen in time. There we go. Alright, because if I use the big sword in here, as you'll see, I'll, I'll try and use it now. It is quite difficult to use in smaller spaces, because if the sword hits against a the wall, then the attack stops. 
So where you're fighting does matter, so you have to use smaller weapons and confined spaces really. I've been stopped again, come on. There we go, right. Back we go. And that is that done. It's over. None the worse for wear. There we go. So we'll just have a wee explore of this place. This is the door we couldn't get in from that last corridor. Uh, we have an item over here. At the base coin, which if you put on a spell, uh, uh, if you launch the spell and you've equipped uh, the base coin to it, you get extra experience from casting the spell. So it's a, a nice way to quick level if you've got quite a few uh, base coins in your arsenal. So this is the tomb in which I am looking for. So this will have my next uh, king sword. This one's more an axe type weapon, the last one was a sword, Sword of the Wise. This one is, can't remember its name, but it's more like an axe type weapon. You can see the sword circling them in the other dimension type place where they can pull these weapons from. So the, the so axe of the conqueror. Guitars. That's that one. More or less. At this rate, he'll soon rival his father's legacy, the copycat king, Adeline. <laughs> so we'll just return to the entrance because I'm kind of done in here for now. But yeah, he, he's collecting these swords. But if you noticed, his dad, King Regis could also pull these swords out of nowhere. He used them in the cutscene where he died basically when he was fighting the the big guy in the suit of armour. He made all the swords appear to block an attack. Yeah. Finally picked up. But I'd lost another king. <sighs> Just busy building my arsenal. Good to hear. I have a task for you. The Empire's begun construction of a new base along the road west to the sky. I need you to put it out of commission. If left unchecked, it will cost us access to the West and all the royal tombs that lie beyond. I believe you've met Monica. She can fill you in on the details. Go see her. What's up? Uh, people to see, bases to burn. Let's go see Monica at the outpost. Huh? Okay, so that will be happening in the next video anyway, but I'll run down to Monica Come to anyway. It. We did spy a large structure. Yeah, hard to miss an I always try and talk in this and then they start talking. It's <laughs> easy taking down a whole stronghold. Can we really do this? The Marshal believes we can, or he wouldn't have asked us. But first things first. Right. Let's head back to the outpost. I don't want to fight, so we'll just quickly warp our way out of this. Right, as I was saying, we'll take down the outpost in the next video, but I'll run down to Monica for now. And that's where we'll start the next video off. And yeah, we'll be heading down to the outpost, which is, isn't far from where we are. And there's a kind of little story mission there. Actually, it's quite a big story mission. We are a kind of boss at the end. So yeah, that will happen in the next video. I might have my uh, Ultima Blade by then. I might not. We'll just see. See how things go. So yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this, and I do want to quickly say while I'm here that I have realised that we have passed the 100 subscriber mark, so thank you, and I'll do a special little 100 subscriber video just shortly, so you have that to look forward to I'm sure, because you all care so greatly I'm sure. <laughs> we found a back door into the Imperial base. I'll mark the route on your map. The way is secure. Thanks. You should be able to gain entry relatively easily. Okay, so that will be about that for this video. As again, guys, thanks for the 100 subscribers. You guys are awesome. Completely awesome. And yeah, we'll be carrying on 
in the next video with taking down this outpost. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this Final Fantasy XV walkthrough. I'm loving this game, hopefully you're loving this game. And as always guys, I'll see you all in the next video.